Now we're going to one of my favorite Jiu Jitsu escapes from side mount the arm spin escape. Let's do it. Arm spin escape. Ah, oh, it's easy and sweet. So from the side mount, right, let's say I got my elbow in, right, so I can elbow frame, but I cannot bring on in my knee or I absolutely do not want to stay on the bottom. Maybe it's an, even an MMA fight and it's gonna punch me, so I need to get out of here. So I'm just gonna get my arm here, wham, and spin on top. From here, there's several opportunities. The most wrestling-like will be to grab the chin and flip him. And I'm gonna be on top and I'm gonna dodge choke and wham. Let's check it out. So, to get my elbow in, I'm gonna bridge towards him, right? Number one escape would be bridging over the top. Okay, but I can't for some reason. And the elbow comes in. Only the elbow, wrist stays outside. Maybe my knee cannot come in now. Maybe I cannot far side bridge him. So now I need to bring that hand, the hand that's in, the close hand, the near side hand, to the other side of his body, to the hip side of his body. I cannot just push it through. I'll make my wrist very unstable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna skip a bit, pop, and at the same time, when I'm bridging and creating a bit of distance, I push my hand through, pop, okay? So the movement, I'm gonna show you afterwards, just floating through. And my hand is now on his hip, so it's almost impossible for him to exclude my hand again. It's here. And my far side hand whizzes in here, so my wrist comes on the base of his tricep here, where his tricep inserts into his delt. And now I will just rotate. Usually I'm gonna use momentum from my legs or I'm gonna bridge but momentum from the legs works just as fine roll to my left side and bring the right side of my face to his chest and maybe I'm gonna need to wiggle and wobble a bit and I'm gonna push up and slowly get out and it's almost impossible to keep me here from for a long time and now it's very important to keep my elbow very close while rotating out and my head moves on his center line towards the belly and I'm coming up. My hand is on his head because while coming up it, it's all about whose head is higher. If I'm trying to come up and his head is above mine, he will just crush me again. So I need to rotate, push his head down and raise my own head. Okay, and I try to cup his chin, okay, then rotate his head and pull him over me to be on top. You maybe go to the side mount or dance joke as shown before. So now watch the movement, will be arm in, bridge, and move to the other side, like so. Pop distance, come in, drop the elbow, move along. Let's see this one again. So, elbow in, up, now I'm here, boop, okay? So now the, the most jujitsu like is with the momentum, and I said there's the other variation with the bridge, which will be like, boom! And now keep my elbow real tight, and either I got his elbow under control, or, if he really tries to stay tight, he's going to get flipped right away and I'm on top. Boom. I love this escape, especially against opponents that are a lot taller and heavier. Okay? It looks, it sounds contradictory, right? But the taller he is, the bigger the gap. And the heavier he is, the less likely it is for me to flip him, right? and the less likely it is that I can insert my knee because he's a lot stronger. But the more likely it is that I'm like a little soap in a jail shower and it's very difficult for him to
to hold me under control. So I'm just trying to start to wiggle and wobble and move and eventually I'm gonna flip, flip right out of his hand like the soap in the shower and we all know what happens when he's trying to bend down to grab me again. <laughs> Let's see this one again. So I'm here, elbow in, boom, hand through. And now, no matter how hard he's trying to hold me, I'm gonna inch out of the way, millimeter out of the way, go and come on top, maybe do here a tie, boom, and I got control. So easy, such a good escape. Let's see it again. Fabulous. Arm spin escape, one of the best Jiu Jitsu escapes of all, especially against taller and heavier opponents. And in my personal opinion, that is what Jiu Jitsu is all about. Jiu Jitsu is not what I can do with somebody who's a lot shorter and lighter than me, I can do anything what I want. It's what can I do against somebody who's bigger and stronger than me. And that one is the perfect solution for it. Hope you like it and see you next time.